power up. All right, advantage red, as I said, and bam, just that fast. The red switch is in place, then blue. The difference in the score, basically four seconds. Again, about 37 points for the Red Alliance under Autonomous. And now a cube on each side of the scale. Looks like Blue, if they can deliver that, they do. Blue Alliance owns the scale for how long? Now 687 here, Diplo. Coming back red, 35-12. Diacoptis doing their part as well. Again, a hard fought battle at the scale. Loss of one cube didn't quite make the difference to the Red Alliance. They do have some dominance there here. Some lucky bouncing as well. Having to keep track of how many cubes are going to be on the scale, but it's quite a few. The higher you go, the harder it is to stack, however. Blue Alliance has exercised their levitate power up. That was worth 30 points at some point. Red Alliance still in the lead. Again, advantage to the Red Alliance. Blue must win to continue. Under a minute to go now, 55 seconds. Coming up on 200 points for the Red Alliance, 140 for Blue. Red's got an advantage, but again, the end game can be so critical here, and also the use of power-ups can swing the tide in the last moment. But again, Red pulling away, and now they exert a boost. 100 points up on the Red on the Blue Alliance, excuse me. 35-12 drops his forklift, 1452 joins them. SMCC on its way up. Are they high enough? Oh, no, oh, that's got to hurt. Bent one of their components there as well. Still 10 seconds to go. 52.85, Strat is up. Dicoptis is up as the match expires. And all three blue robots on the platform as well. There we go, red moves on, yes they do. Two wins to none. So let's give our congratulations to teams 5285, Seeking Robotics from Palos 